Session 55 of Unit 5 of Industrial Relations and Labor Legislation of 6th Semester BB of Mangalore University. The Employees Provident Funds and Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1952. This Act provides for retirement benefits in the form of Provident Fund, Pension and Deposit Linked Insurance. The main features of the Act are, first is coverage. The Act is applicable to a factory in any industry specified in Schedule 1 and in which 20 or more persons are employed or which the central government notifies in the official gazette. The Act does not apply to cooperative societies employing less than 50 persons and working without the aid of power. New establishments for three years from the date of establishment. The appropriate government is empowered to grant exemption from the operation of this act to any class of establishments under certain conditions. The second, that is administration. The schemes under the act are administered by a tripartite central board of trustees consisting of representatives of employers employees and the government. The Act provides for the following schemes. Provident Fund Scheme Under the Contributory Provident Fund Scheme, monthly deductions at the rate of 12% of the pay from the employee's salary are made every month. The employer contributes an equivalent amount. The total contributions are deposited with the Provident Fund Commissioner or invested in the prescribed manner. An employee can obtain advances and permanent withdrawals after 15 years of service for construction of house, higher education or marriage of children, purchase of car, etc. On retirement, death, migration, Leaving service, the full balance at his credit with interest is payable. The Employees Pension Scheme 1995 Under the scheme, pension is paid to the widow children of the employee who dies while in service. It is a contributory scheme. The employer's contribution towards pension of the employee is derived at 8.33% from the total contribution of the 12% made towards the social security obligations. Under the new pension scheme, the pension is payable to the employee after his retirement in place of provident fund. An employee can choose either provident fund scheme or pension scheme. According to the new regulations, all new employees will have to opt for pension scheme. Persons already employed can switch over from provident fund to pension scheme. Next is Employees Deposit Linked Insurance Scheme 1976. Under this scheme, the legal heir or nominee of the deceased employee will receive an amount equal to the average balance in his provident fund during the preceding one year, subject to a maximum of Rs. 3,50,000. The employer and the central government make contributions to this fund and the employee is required to make no contributions. Reference